Welcome back. Once again, you're listening to the Entrepreneurial Web. I'm your host, Jeremiah Fox, here with my guest, Alessandra Belloni. I'd like to say hello to Clyde. What's up? Good to see you. Glad you're back. And Juliana, how are you? Allora. Allora. <laughs> Great to speak with you. We have to catch up. I know, I know that word and I know, some, I know some bad words in well, Italian. Maybe That's we it. So we're going to stick to Allora. Allora. Che facciamo? So... You have, uh, you mentioned it earlier, you have a new book out. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. Um, it's my second book. The first one was mm -hmm. Rhythm is the Cure right. with Mel Bay to teach the style of tambourine that you were mm -hmm. commenting about, yeah. which is quite complicated. So yeah. thanks to Remo, with whom I designed my drums, I decided that I had to develop a method so mm -hmm. that people could do it. Yes. So that's the first book. But this is really my life's journey, and it's called Healing Journeys with the Black Madonna. Mm -hmm. And I think I spoke about the Black Madonna when we were. Can you give a UV? little because I don't, that part I don't remember. Can you give a little? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I think we that? focus more on the dance, the tarantella, yes. right? But yeah. so the uh, the drumming that I teach and play comes from these ancient uh, Greek rituals, pre-Christian, done also in honor of the goddess Cybele, besides Dionysus. Okay. And they were com connected in the mysteries of the illusion mysteries. Cybele, meant, you know, is the goddess of the earth, the black goddess of the earth from Anatolia, Turkey. And she was honored with drumming and dance and orgiastic rituals. So it's very sensual mm -hmm. with these large frame drums that I play. Right. And in the south of Italy, we're really lucky that we kept that technique exactly as it was. We know, mm -hmm. if, you know, from the prints, the mosaics, the frescoes, and, and it's never changed. So that drumming is called tamurriata, and the dance is done with castanets. So that is the ancient... Um, ceremony that we see performed for the Black Madonna going back to the Earth Mother Goddesses, Shibele, as well as Isis from Egypt. So it's mm -hmm. really important the connection to Africa. Yeah. And which is where our music comes right, from right. and many things come from. Mm -hmm. So m my book is really my journey of how I discovered the Black Madonna because I was doing research for my group in New York. And then everywhere I went, there was this black Madonnas in these churches in the south of Italy. And the priests always said, no, uh, nera perché nera. she's black because she's black or it's the candle smoke, <laughs> which is a joke. Then I realized they were lying. Right. And coming from a leftist family, I knew right. they, you were they lied a lot. Already, yeah. And then I started this journey to understand she was the uh, continuation of the goddess rituals, the earth mother, also the sea goddess that we call Aphrodite, but in Africa is Yemanja, you know, the same tradition from Africa, we have the same. Mm -hmm. And then I was, uh, I got sick in the 80s, 86, and I had a cer cervical cancer and I had a surgery and I had a vision of the Black Madonna over my bed telling me to fall path and that I was going to feel other people's pain. And that was, you know, something I remember as if it was yesterday. I really didn't understand what it meant, but it's a transform my life, yeah. obviously, because a lot of people were with shaman, you know, shamanic work. Right. Mm -hmm. I know go through that, but at that time I was still young. I didn't know what right. that meant. Right. And then I decided I was going to write an opera for her, which we did, called The Voyage of the Black Madonna, and we premiered it at St. John the Divine at the mm. cathedral. Yeah, I remember and, you yeah. telling that story. Yeah, that's where I'm at. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and then from that, it, she just kept calling me to do more research, more work. And I went from place to place to place and learn more. And then I realized how it's connected to Africa and the African mother, as well as being a, a Christian devotion. So this book is really um, my life's journey, you know, how I decided to be an artist, how I started the group in New York and then being sick and then being healed and traveling. And each, each chapter is my journey. Um, the people I met that taught me this music because I wouldn't do what I do if I didn't learn from the old people. Mm -hmm. And then uh, her story, the legends, and also um, each chapter ends with some practice that people can follow. And at the end, there is a link to the CD so people can learn the chants, the prayers, mm -hmm. can play it. So it's for other people to learn yeah. to do self-healing, which I think right. is Right, so it's not just like a drum technique book. No. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a life technique yeah. book. I think so. Yeah. I'm getting really good uh, reviews and results. Good. That's awesome. It. When did the book come out? Uh, April 2nd, now, oh, 2019. Of 2019. Awesome. I, it took me about three years to really get it done, but I had been working on it for a while. Sorry. And... Um, then I proposed it to different publishers in the tradition, decided to do it, which is a very good publisher. And I'm really blessed that I have the foreword uh, from a very famous writer, 
Matthew Fox, Dr. Matthew Fox, who no is relation. incredible. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what an it's another No, actually, I'm getting a cut from the book. That's why she's here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what an, no, when I, I was thinking about it. Jeremiah Fox, Matthew Fox. Yeah, no, so no. he's amazing. And he was a, a priest that was excommunicated by Ratzinger. But he's an Episcopalian priest, but he wrote many, many books and he loves the Black Madonna. So oh, wow. with his endorsement and his foreword, it opened many doors. Great. That's really fantastic. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. He's a blessing in my life. So a number of things you said there were striking. You had this Black Madonna as your, as your goal. You're like, you said you were chasing it. It just kept coming up and you were going mm -hmm. after it. So you had some sort of direction yes. and passion. But you also have this phenomenal talent. <laughs> Thank you. She's badass. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Most you, drummers call me badass. <laughs> I, I remember you telling us of playing for like 15 hours till your hand was bloody. Mm -hmm. And like really like yeah. that's like the stuff of legends, you know. Yeah. And then you also told a story about being in Brazil. And the Tarantella is a, is a triplet bass thing. Yeah. And then it, the the thing that always struck me, especially coming from African music, is the, the ju juxtaposition of four and three. Right. They're always like interrelated. And if you really want to make it juicy, you like <laughs> explore. Like if you want to make it That's lame, what I did in Brazil. don't yeah. explore. But yeah. in Brazil, they, they were they play with the Pandero yeah. and, and a lot of frame drums as well. And, and you were like, I think I could work this out. And they were like, well, it's more like a four thing. And you were like, give me a minute. And you were like, now I can. And you demonstrated. And I was like, Damn, it was amazing. That's the one I really worked on because it's great ah, because it, it wow. gives you the slow version and then the fast. So, ba, 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 da, da, ba, 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 and I'm terrible. It, it, yeah, <laughs> you could do the buyout. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So you wow, got. I'm glad you. Know. Yeah, no, it was. It was. It had a big impact on me. It definitely. I'm glad. Did. That's Our beautiful. Definitely. Um, That's what it's it was about. Great. And yeah, I mean, inspiration like, to go to Toronto and all this great stuff. It was <laughs> always was fun. Wild. Um. <laughs> So, so you have, you have this passion that you chased that was based off of, you know, sickness and healing and growth mm -hmm. and development mixed with talent. What other components did you have to pull together? Like you just mentioned one, having this guy write the forward to your book that really helped. What other things did you have to pull? What other resources did you have to pull to really make this thing that you're doing a success? Because I mean, you got... You, I mean, the thing, the residency at the University of Buffalo was, that was pretty big. Like, yeah, big, they, they reserved that for like special people. So. No, I, I understand. Yeah. I've done a lot of. Yeah, you've done things. a lot of those. I really so. think in, in my case, I, it's true. If you don't have talent, uh, right. which I believe we have from birth. So right. Uh, definitely. For whatever. Some you know, are innate soul, and some we develop. But. It's harder to achieve certain things. But I also tell my students, determination, discipline. Mm -hmm. and concentration you really have to concentrate and the book was the biggest lesson even though as a musician of course i have to concentrate right. all the time i write the shows i write the operas i do the research i produce and i get on stage and do it but um because i've done it for so many years now it's 40 years that i run mm -hmm. my it's very easy and i don't right. get nervous mm -hmm. i mean unless i'm in something like in brazil i remember getting really nervous the first time i was up with the big right. guys right. Gilles. But the book was the, for me, the most stressful experience in terms of concentration, focus, and discipline, because you can't get it done on a, with a deadline unless you just stop everything else and just yeah. sit there. And also what happened to me is that I let the guidance come through from the Black Madonna, mm -hmm. because there were times where I was really so I imagine, stressed, yeah. because I signed a contract on February 14th, and the deadline was May 1st. <laughs> And I had you seven had chapters in three months. But se seven chapters in three months, and the book is very long. And plus wow. the photos. But I that's that, like, that's crazy. It is crazy. And they actually the publisher was very impressed. Yeah. I and I say, went over all the I would think like years. I would think it was take. Yeah, I, mean, I would say three do. years to get it to, you know, I had a five chapters done, but mm -hmm. then th those months were amazing. So I really think what you really if you really want to make some this was my dream. You have right. to really concentrate, focus, but also if you are on a spiritual journey, let the guidance come through. And I understood that I, there were nights where I was just crying and then I had right. to surrender. Like, I know she's telling me to do it. I so get it done. <laughs> what were some of your, your um, you know, internal mechanisms for that? Because that's a big thing with martial arts as well is, you know, reduction of ego. When you mm -hmm. let all that go, then 
the things just channel through you, the things that you've learned, yeah. plus your own, the things that are just in your DNA, your own particular movement, right. your own particular preferences, the things that your, your own talents, but you really have to just like, ah, like yeah. let it go. And that's, that's a Very really similar. hard thing to do. Uh, yo, it's so similar. It's, and the great part is if, if the business world can awaken to this, we can, we can be yeah. revolutionary in Absolutely. what we, our impact on the planet. Instead of being so me, 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 you know, it's in the face shift. of all this crazy shit that's going I on agree. in everybody's life. If we can just switch that gear. That's what man. also Matthew Fox speaks, speaks about. Oh, and great. I, it's a shift of consciousness. Yeah, yeah. You know, the interesting it's needed part. So, badly. so I have a I have a 12 year old daughter. My oldest is 12. She's in seventh wow. grade. And it's all she talks about. And I didn't, this is kind of new to me. I, it's not like she grew up hearing what? me say these things. I got to meet this girl. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I feel like there's something new happening in the, in the, in the world, Absolutely. in the consciousness. Um, and if we she can, probably came here for that reason. Man, and it just saved me. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it just saved me from myself. That's beautiful. Yeah. So I, I really think there's a, there's a really great opportunity now. Uh -huh, yeah. And it's another one of the main reasons why I do the show is not, you know, that's even though it's fantastic. a business oriented show, it's not to be like, how do you maximize profits? <laughs> you know, that's like so creepy to me. Yeah. You have to make money. Like you said, we live I in know. New York. We yeah. live in one of the most competitive cutthroat markets. Like as a musician, I remember you telling oh, me another yes. thing that you said that really had an impact on me and another uh, visiting artist. Do you, do you know Bobby Prevett? He's a drummer, a New York um, drummer. No. Uh, he lives upstate now, but he's been around. Same thing for like he's been in the Drum New York set? scene. Yeah, okay. uh, he played with like uh, Elliot Sharp oh, wow. and John Zorn and um, Mark Benevento and uh, huh. who's the Charlie Hunter, the guy that plays wow. like the ten string guitar. Anyways, both of you said he came right around the same time as you did. Ah. You were like, New York is a tough scene right now. Like people are going out less. People are not going to shows more. It's much harder to make money. And it's worse. As a <laughs> it's worse now. I, well, I learned because I moved here right after that. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. So really trying to be creative. You have to make enough money to survive. Yeah. You have to be competitive. You have to be able to practice your talent. You have to be able to channel your spirituality. And you have to be mm -hmm. able to grow still so a lot of and always things. change you and have to renew yeah. yourself all the time in yes new york. Oh. in new york yeah. that's number one well, that's one you of the can't things I repeat love about things it. you've done right it's like right people move on to the next thing yeah. all the time which you, is i think inspirational you can't, yeah it is it's great but it's it can be so overwhelming. much stress <laughs> yeah. all right we're gonna take a break so we're not get stressed we'll come back <laughs> we'll take a breath and uh we'll be back with you very soon you listen to entrepreneur web 